Y'all, so I forgot my mallet. I don't know where it is. I don't feel like getting back up after I sat back down. So we're gonna have to just settle with this. Hey girl. Hello everybody, my name is Simply Velka and I wanna first and foremost thank you for checking out my channel. I really hope you enjoy this video. And in this video, I'm just going to be doing an updated yes or no pick a card because I do have one done previously a few months ago, maybe one or two months ago, but I actually want to do a couple of different pick a cards in a monthly updated version. The This pick a card is going to be one of them. And so if that sounds perfect to you. Keep on watching for the card selection. All right, you guys, like always, I want you guys to close your eyes and to take three deep breaths in and to take three deep breaths out. And then on your third breath out, I want you to open your eyes and to look at which of these piles are calling to you the most. Whichever one you looked at first or whichever one you kept seeing in your mind's eye during the time that you're taking your three deep breaths in and out, that is the pile that is meant for you. That is the pile that it has your messages. Some of you may feel called to more than one pile. That is completely okay. Just go to both piles and figure out which cards are calling to you the most, which ones are meant for you to hear. Um, and so going from our left to the right, well, my left to the right, we have pile number one, Bina, the left eye of knowledge. We have pile number two, girl, I don't know how to say his name, so we're going to just say judgment. <laughs> we have pile number three, we have Yasad, the root connection card. And then we have pile number four, the angel of song, y'all. <laughs> And so once you guys do pick your piles, I always leave it in the description below and also in the comments below the timestamps for every each of the piles. So once you do pick your pile, you can go into the comments, click your timestamp so you can get straight to your reading. All right, people who chose pile number one, you guys chose Bina, the left eye, the knowledge card. And so this is going to be the overall theme for this message for a lot of you guys in pile number one. For whatever question that it is that you pertain, it's going to be your answer is going to be more so like it's i feel like spirit's trying to let you know that overall you're going this is going to be an educational time for you and it took me a while to get that out for you guys but yeah definitely going to be an educational time for you guys so definitely if you guys are questioning if you're a part of if you're in your right path and maybe you're dealing with an obstacle right now and that has you questioning your path uh that card is definitely i feel like a calling to you and letting you know that you are on the right path and maybe you're overanalyzing some things, right? So looking at this whole spread now, this is definitely affirming to what I was thinking from before. So overall, yeah, I want to remind you guys, this is definitely going to be the nucleus of our reading. And so first and foremost, let's start out with the full moon in Sagittarius. Look at the bigger picture. So whatever your question is pertaining, are you questioning if someone's being loyal to you or not? Are you questioning if you're making the right decision? If you are going down the right path? Are you questioning about a relationship? This is asking spirit letting you know to ask is asking you, spirit is asking you to get a little bit more information. Spirit's asking you to really dive deep a little bit more. You know, um, I feel like for some of you guys, maybe you guys need to have a little bit of shift of your mental state and maybe a, a little bit more of a balance because we do have the platypus card, card talking about at well, this card is asking you to stop complaining and focus on the blessings in your life. So maybe you guys have been a little bit of a pessimist or maybe, or maybe your question has been framed in a more of a negative kind of outlook. Maybe you're anticipating the worst and that's why you came to this reading in the first place to see if that was right. So the spirit's kind of trying to call you out on your mindset right now and they're trying to really maybe you don't even have a bad mindset but maybe like your ego is coming into play a little bit and that's partially why you need to look at the bigger picture maybe your ego is coming into play in the whatever influence of the question that it is you're asking whatever the situation is and so you need to keep your ego in check by looking at the bigger picture and understanding that there's so much more than just your own reality that is going on right i'm going to be showing you the cards here that i was talking about so you guys can have a quick look as well and this is the Bina card, the one that you, the pile that you guys chose, of course. But yeah, definitely emphasizing with the looking at the bigger picture card, we have the disseminating moon. This is ask, the spirit asking you to take a moment to breathe out, you guys. Definitely take a moment to just breathe out, to really take this time and really see where it is you are, you guys are possibly getting triggered. I feel like for some of you guys, you guys absolutely are getting triggered, whether you may want to admit it or not. And that's partially why you were drawn to this reading to get some insight on this and maybe so you're asking as if like uh yeah i feel like for a lot of people if your question isn't framed in like a negative way or framed in like you know how do i want to put this so it's like instead of framing the question of 
uh, is this sh uh, should uh, like asking like a question of does this person have good intentions for me? Instead, you're asking you're framing the question of is this person cheating on me? So you're setting it up for like a negative expectation. So maybe that ha partially has a thing to do with it. Spirit's really trying to like I know you came in for like a yes or no kind of reading, but Spirit's really asking you right now. I feel like this would be extremely helpful and valuable to some of you guys right now to check your mindset a little bit. Maybe your mind. I feel like your mindset has a little bit of influence in how things are playing out and i'm not trying to victim blame right now or anything like that i'm absolutely not obviously this is going this is a very universal reading for people so it's going to mean cards are going to mean very different things to each person but absolutely i feel like it's going to still be prevalent for everybody in this reading that's receiving this message right now is to really just keep your ego in check really before you make a decision uh, check other perspectives that are not your own absolutely because when you have the full moon sagittarius asking you to look at the bigger picture when you have the disseminating moon asking you to take a moment to breathe out when you have the balsamic moon even letting you know this that this is a time of healing this is definitely affirming to me that some of you guys may be getting a little bit triggered right now maybe you guys need to take a moment instead of wondering if like this person's the one or maybe if you need to shift jobs right now maybe just take this moment to take a breath out allow this time to analyze you truly assess your situation and taking the emotion out of it because once we when we are thinking about our own situation and we're emotional we were not we were not making the best of our decisions right so so by taking a step back, you realize how things really are not as bad as you think they are. Let me take a brief moment to drink here. When we realize things are not as bad as they are, we put things in perspective. We realize the triggers that are happening. We can make sense of it. That is when we can welcome in that deep emotional healing, right? That's another emphasis for you guys for healing from... So you have two different cards ask, talking about healing for you guys in pile number one. So this is definitely going to be such a healing time for you guys. And I feel like, again, this is, I want to just, I feel drawn to give this affirmation that a lot of you guys in pile number one, I feel like, well, maybe not a lot of you guys, but I feel like for some of you guys, you guys are questioning if you're on the right path. You're questioning if you're making the right decisions in your life right now, or maybe you're questioning a decision that you made. I feel like absolutely that you guys have not made, this is going to be only for direct few, keep this in mind, because so I'm going be channeling a little bit but i feel like you guys did not absolutely make the wrong choice whatever it is that you're doing this is a time for healing this is a time for you to really i feel to just be by yourself a little bit maybe some of you guys don't want to hear that right now but i feel like this absolutely this is a time of self-reflection a time of balancing things out right we have the balance card archangel zadkiel the need for balance and moderation cooperation and compromise wait for perfect timing that's another i feel like this is going to the wait for the perfect timing is going to be another phrase that's going to resonate and hit with a lot of people some of you guys may not want to hear it right now but when you're thinking about this again it's like now isn't wait for the perfect timing wait until you do this healing right wait until you fix your mindset through this healing that you you're going to fix your mindset through this healing that you do right and it's through this healing that you have a greater perspective on everything of where you're going to see the bigger picture on things of where you're going to just wait things out yeah i feel like absolutely this is being spelled out so perfectly for you guys in pile number one you guys right now this is not a time of action this is a time for healing for you guys this is a time for you to really put things in perspective take inventory of what it is that's going on for you right now and just gather more information right now this is not really a time for you to make a drastic decision nothing bad is going on well i don't want to say nothing bad for you is going on right now because i don't know your situation but don't feel like you need to rush into a decision based off of what you think the situation is looking right looking like right now does that make sense so continuing on we have the five of air and this one card actually funnily enough is talking about an unwise choice learn what you can from the situation and review everyone's motives so i feel like actually the relevance for this card for you guys in pile number one is more so asking you to review everyone's motives so perhaps you guys have some people in your life those who are questioning involving like other parties if your question involved other parties i feel like this is it makes so much sense for you guys to wait for the perfect timing wait for someone to show their true colors or wait it out a little bit more maybe for some i don't want to put this in a negative light right because as some of you guys already know i'm an extremely optimistic person but 
maybe some like you're at being asked to wait for a perfect timing because you're unsure of someone's decisions maybe you feel like you need to cut this person off and that's what that unwise choice is talking about but also on the flip side of things because this is like we have to appreciate both sides of things as well maybe this is taking heed for you to look at the if this is not a uh <laughs> instead of giving the benefit of the doubt to the people maybe this is a time for you to really analyze people's um true motives behind things and maybe there, there's going to, going to be some people after seeing their true motives that you want to let go of maybe you know the this is all like this is why you want to wait for that perfect timing right that's what i'm going to keep referencing that like i feel like more information is going to be brought to you and that's how you're going to get the bigger picture of things that we were talking about with the full moon Sag sagittarius this is all about for you guys just learning gathering more information and just allowing yourself to really ground yourself with this information, to really put things in perspective with this information, to also with this new information, just allow it to change your mindset on things. I feel like with new information, it's going to really alter your decision on things or alter your point of view on things. And that's why the spirit's really not giving like a full on like blatant answer for you guys because you, there's just no more you guys need more information pile number one but they are giving you the affirmation with the full moon in cancer a personal issue reaches a resolution so absolutely beautiful card to have this is giving you that reassurance that things are going to be working out right we have another card the world card a job well done joy and contentment and gratitude the path towards enlightenment right so this is all part of the pro process for you guys you know you guys are absolutely not on the wrong path i know i keep saying it but i feel like some of you guys need to have that reassurance that you guys are not on the wrong paths but this is absolutely like you you guys are definitely going to get your abundance soon but allow this time to really heal allow this time to just gather information don't react right now that's really what i'm getting do not react wait for that perfect timing right the balance card wait for that perfect timing and when the time is right that is when you're going to own your queen of fire energy right i love how this is just panning out to be so beautifully uh just red right so the queen of fire says stretch your wings and fly don't underestimate yourself assert your independence and creativity right so you're absolutely like this is going to be like your moment is coming, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Your moment is coming. That's really what I'm getting for you guys in pile number one. Whatever message that, whatever, whatever, however that pertains to your question, your time is absolutely coming. But I feel as if like you guys just need to wait it out a little bit more. You, you guys are, you're going to be getting what you want, but you have to, there's just some slight adjustments that do need to be made for you guys. Those absolutely. Finally, for you guys' last cards in pile number one, I asked for a stone for a suggestion for people to work with in pile number one. And the stone spirit is suggesting for you guys is Lavender Argonite. I'll have it up for you guys for a moment so you guys can look at it, get the spelling of it so you can look it up and see if this stone is of resonance to you guys. But yeah, that is the reading that I have for you guys in people pile, in, in pile number one. I really hope this reading gives you a sense of direction and some clarity on whatever it is that the question that you did ask. I really do hope that this was helpful. Um, of course, like I spoke in very directive ways and used specific analogies, but obviously you had, you have to take the cards and shift them how they're going to be relevant to you guys but yeah i really do hope that this reading was helpful to you guys and if it was helpful to you guys please let me know in the comments below how, what like which card of this which card in your pile made sense to you which card called to you the most i'd really love to hear about it and yeah if this reading did resonate with you please give me a like and subscribe because it really does help me out so much but until next time you guys i love you so much all right people in pile number two you guys chose the judgment card so this is definitely going to be the nucleus of you guys' overall messages for you guys. So either someone's going to get theirs or you might get yours as well, depending on how your question was framed. If you're questioning about somebody else, then definitely I feel like things are going to pan out in your favor. I feel like judgment's going to lie in your favor, just judging by how these cards are starting to pan out right now. Okay last two cards oh yeah definitely definitely justice is going to be coming onto your side you just have to wait for things to cool down for you guys in pile number two so how do we want to get into this first first and foremost so 
I want to first talk about love, right? And this is, I feel like I'm going to assume a lot of people came into this reading asking about pertaining with another person into the situation. Um, or if not love, I say love because the new moon in Aquarius bring love into the situation. But what I mean by that, when I say love, I mean more so just in terms of your relationship. So you, that this can be platonic, this can be romantic, this can be family. Um, overall, I feel like for people that are in regards to with, uh, that have their question framed around with people, I feel like, I just feel as if like, uh, similar to pile, people in pile number one, where, and so this, some of you guys may be, might be coming from pile number one actually, but it's like, I feel like in terms of the dynamic with people, in terms of social environment, I feel like because emotions are going to be running high uh, with this, uh, with the super moon that we have for you guys, paired with the four of air as well, which is asking you to take a moment to rest first, asking you to really center yourself. I feel as if you guys, there's like a, a little bit of uh, compassion that needs to be practiced. I feel as if for some people, there needs to be like a better love language, whether with themselves or with other people in their lives. I say this because if you're asking a question pertaining to if someone likes me or not, or if likes you or not, or someone, you know, just in terms of relationship, we do have the new moon in Aquarius asking you to bring love into the situation. So again, whether this is platonic, whether this is someone that you just want to know about in your life, and maybe like a coworker or something, you just are wondering about the dynamic with that. I feel like spirits really urging you to <sighs> let things simmer a little bit. Let things simmer a little bit and come from a place of compassion. See it from their point of view. See it from the other person's point of view is what I'm definitely getting in that regard. I feel like for a little bit, there's definitely an overall theme in pile number two, people in pile number two, that there just needs to be a revision of plans a little bit. A little bit of, yeah, absolutely just a little bit of revision and plans. That's why we have with the four air asking you to take a rest or take a vacation and allow more time to make a decision. Because it's just like outside of just socially, like there just needs to be, there needs to be like this balance that needs to just be incorporated for a lot of you guys in pile number two, absolutely. And I feel like with the new moon in Aquarius, like I'm, I keep referencing it because I just feel as if like, not that I'm asking you to forgive people or to see it from there. Cause I feel like, I feel like some people are going to take this part of the reading and say like they're in the right. I'm absolutely not trying to say other people are in the right. I just want to clarify this, but I feel as if maybe partially why emotions are running high is because a love is not, a compassion is not being put into play. Love is not being put into the situation. So there's a lack of understanding, whether that's from you or whether that's from another party. And to keep this in mind, keep that in mind for however your question is framed, right? But I keep talking about this balance, right? Because the fourth air kind of brings this all in because we have the full moon in Pisces, balanced spirituality and practicality. Um, on top of this, we have the full moon in Taurus. Your dreams need a practical plan. So two different cards asking you to have like a little bit more practicality in your life to, again, like allowing more time to make a decision. This is what I was talking about. Like you needing to revise a little bit because there's just like this push from spirit to have you look at the, like, I feel like overall it's starting to make sense to me now. Like because emotions are high, there's going to be a little bit, little bit of a bias that's coming into play. There's like, because love is not being brought into the situation to balance things out. There's just like decisions being made, feelings are being expressed and maybe some worry, some unnecess unnecessary worries be happening in your mind or in, or in other people's minds because of the overthinking. And I truly feel like there just needs to like, yeah, this is an overall like spirit asking you to revise. So however your question is framed, like definitely think about if this is truly what you want or truly the outcome, like wh whatever it is that you're desiring through your question or the answer to your question, whatever answer that it is that you're wanting, I feel as if there's just needs to be a revision of some sort. Obviously you guys will be able to know how to frame it depending on your question, but there's just definitely like 
a need to reframe because as well as like emotions running high, there's also the eight of air. And this is talking about being the illusion of being trapped in lack of self-confidence and afraid to take discipline. So going with what I was saying before with the lack of self-confidence, this is why you feel like with the bringing love into the situation, maybe for some of you guys, so there needs to be like a little bit more of a better love language with yourself that I was talking about. But also with some people, part of the reason why you feel there needs to be like revision is because you're making these decisions based off of excuses or based off of feeling more trapped because of like this unnecessary worry that you have in your mind because you're overthinking a situation or an action because emotions were running high in this at the time and spirits really suggesting you to bring love into the situation whether it is with yourself or whether it's with other people maybe if, if it is with yourself this is where you need to have a conversation of why do you have such a low opinion of yourself that you need to have spirit tell you to have more confidence and to you know like if you feel like everyone hates you why do you feel like everyone hates you don't get just don't settle on being okay with accepting the fact that you're just going to overthink this part of yourself it's not I don't want to say it's not normal because a lot of people always go through that process and myself included but it's not something that should be the norm to just assume people hate you or to assume the worst like people are thinking the worst of you that's not okay that's something you need, like ob like obviously you're not coming here to be chastised but i feel like with the seven of earth paired with the eight of air like these two cards are like quite literally showing to me like your mind is like your biggest like issue or like your biggest thing that you need to confront and it's like causing you a lot of unnecessary stress and causing you to think like put energy into a narrative that's not happening but you think it is happening because of your overthinking that's really what i'm getting that's why you're getting such a push for you to just think just revise and make more time like meditate before you make a decision absolutely um going into a little bit into career and creative aspects though we have the star card and this is a happy time right beautiful card beautiful 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 card paired with the unicorn which i'll get into in a moment but the star card says make positive optimistic long-term plans on the right path so absolutely people who are asking in terms of the career or anything like that like this is any creative uh project this is such a good time for you guys to really delve into a little bit more i'm getting such a positive affirmation energy through these two cards right with the unicorn card as well indulge in and this card is asking you to indulge in your to indulge in your creative imaginative and magical side through some form of artistic expression so you're quite literally being pushed with these two cards here from spirit to really go dive deep into whatever creative project that you have if you take that risk take that chance this like you're being promised by spirit that things are going to work out for you this is make long-term plans so don't feel like if things don't work out instantly that it's not going like that was not meant to be you're you're thinking about long term you're thinking about the long term you that's why you have the star card you know you're on the right path you're just re remain optimistic right that's another card asking you to shift your mindset on some things right to maintain that optimism so yeah that's the cards that i have for you oh actually before i end this reading for you guys in pile number two the stone that i pulled for you guys is the Kirsakola. And the Kirsakola stone is what Spirit's suggesting from people in pile number two to work with if they feel called to it. So I'll hold it up for you guys so you can hopefully see the spelling of it. So you can check it out and the look it up and check it out and see if that stone is calling to you in specific. But yeah, I love you guys so much. I really hope that this reading was of resonance to you guys if it was please let me know in the comments below let me know which card resonated with you the most and how it resonated with you i really am i mean i'm a nosy person y'all i enjoy hearing y'all's business if you like sharing about it or sharing it anyways but yeah if this reading was helpful and did bring you some clarity i would love for you to give me a like and subscribe because it does help me out so much but until next time you guys i love you so much all right people in pound number three you guys picked the yasad card the root card connection card so absolutely this is i feel like going to be very telling for the rest of the messages in the spile so let's just spread out these cards right now for you guys in pile number three and then we'll start breaking it down from there right all right very interesting cards actually so you guys ooh, all right you guys in pile number three are going through some heavy shadow work you guys are going through some heavy shadow work, but I feel like this is also going to be 
the journey for like the shadow work is going is building up to something so no matter what it is like y'all came here for your yes or no question but i'm still gonna give you guys a little bit more detail and some advice and spirit before you go so the strength card archangel ariel this card talks about great inner strength release harsh judgments forgiveness and compassion this is straight up you guys this is a shadow work card straight through and through you can't get any more shadow work card in that if you don't know what shadow work is shadow work is the thought process behind or the concept of working on just like past traumas and you know going deeper with yourself overall i suggest you looking up shadow work because that's such a short explanation and not a very good one for it but yeah just some stuff you guys that, that you guys need to work on right you have fear of air as well great sadness take time to heal the need to forgive self or others so two different cards talking about forgiveness you guys in pile number three what is going on do you guys need to forgive yourself do you guys need to forgive somebody else maybe you guys are depending on how your question is framed maybe you guys need to i feel like with all this forgiveness energy right now i feel as if like Plus, with the full moon in Scorpio, it's time to release negativity. So much negativity and so much stuff that needs to be released for you guys. Absolutely. Like, and this is, I feel like, heavily talking outside of... For people who ask about career, I'll get to you guys in a moment because there's some cards specific towards that. But for you guys, I feel like this is just... Like, depending on how your question is framed, if you're, want, if you're wondering about certain people in your life, if you're wondering about whatever it is, like, I feel like this is just a time for you to release people, release habits of your, like, bad habits of yourself, and just, you know, practicing forgiveness in some kind of way, whatever that way is pertaining to you. Maybe there's some people that need to practice forgiveness towards you, and you should allow that so you can have some closure as well. I'm going to just say that right here and there as well. But yeah, I'm not going to go into this too much, but I just wanted to make note of this, that there's three different forgiveness cards. And so as well as the nine of air, expecting the worst, self-fulfilling prophecies and sleepless nights. Now, you guys, whenever we get a bunch of air, whenever I pull a bunch of air cards for people, for an individual. I always associate some depression whenever there's a bunch of air cards with them. And so that's something I really want, I mean, plus with the, I mean, this card right here, I haven't been showing the cards to you guys, but like, you know, these cards are straight up just calling you guys out on your mental space right now, like where your head is at right now. This is really like, part of this negativity, like, that's been, like, just surrounding you guys, maybe you guys have just been dealing with some heavy stuff, or maybe your environment's been trying you recent has been trying you recently, but absolutely, you guys, before, like, in terms of just, like, relationships and stuff, I feel like you need to move on. Like, this is, I'm getting such moving on energy for everything outside of career for most people in this pile. I'm getting such just moving on from this because, good news like if you're asking about certain individuals like we have the new moon in libra a new romantic cycle begins so even though this card says romantic cycle if you're asking a question about a friend or an ex-friend maybe or just with people in general maybe you just need to have this come from a place of forgiveness release them right this is what this, this spread was talking about releasing them because you know your story gets better you know this new cycle this new person coming into your life is going to be so much better for you and just because again it says romantic cycle that does not mean or means that it's going to be a romantic thing it could just be a deep friendship connection it could just be a deep connection it could be a long lost family connection for some of you guys maybe some of you guys are going to be connecting with some of past relatives Rel or not passed on relatives, but relatives that you haven't connected to in a long time. But yeah, full moon in Libra, a win-win outcome is in forecast. So outside of releasing people, like you can't go wrong. Like I feel like those who are wanting to hear a yes and are disappointed, they heard like the no when it came to certain people, they're disappointed. But the new moon in Libra, well, the full moon in Libra, it's saying that this is a win-win forecast, like you can't go wrong. And it makes sense, right? You can't, well, actually I'm just, Wait a minute now. I'm just not realizing that this is, we both got the new moon and the full moon in Libra. So this is such a beautiful pairing, you guys. You want this kind of pairing, actually, because it's like you you're not gonna like you're gonna be so happy with the result of this like it may feel like you are losing at first but it's you you're winning you're definitely ending up on top you guys you guys are so like yeah you guys are so good 
Um, let's see what's going on with the emu card as well. This is a good time to go on a nude adventure. So again, more newness. This is spirit really asking you to adopt some more just new energy into your life right now. So yeah, definitely just re releasing the old, forgiving the old and welcoming in some new. Um, paired with the tiger card as well. So it's not only this is a good time for an adventure, but the tiger card talks about you're being called to provide leadership. So trust that you're capable of doing so. So maybe this new connection that you have with people, maybe this um, is going to be like a new dynamic for you guys entirely. Maybe you're going to be walking under your ground. Maybe some of you guys, you're going to have to do some pursuing rather than being used to being pursued for some of you guys. Some of you, like, I don't know, like definitely I feel like your next connection with people or your next, your journey that is to come is definitely going to be out of your comfort zone, but that's not, that is not a bad thing. And so finally, going into your your guys' career, all the good stuff, right? We have the Ace of Earth, beautiful card. The Ace of Earth is like inflow of abundance, a promising business venture, important documents or contracts. Um, paired with the waxing crescent moon, having faith in your dreams. I mean, hello, you guys, hello. Can you go wrong with that? Can you get wrong with that at all? You really can't, absolutely you cannot. So this is really in terms of just career for you guys, depending on how your question was framed, of course. Um, whatever career, like I'm seeing such positivity for career. Absolutely. So I feel like if you're questioning in terms of your career or questioning like if you should venture into something or you should switch jobs or if you should, you know, switching jobs again, because that would make sense with, with so much release. Maybe that's like what you're releasing is an old toxic job that was not bringing you any happiness and welcoming in this new stuff. Like, right, because we were talking about the win win is in forecast, right? maybe like this new job like maybe you some of you guys lost your job recently you're trying to make some sense of it but it's like yeah you guys are getting such promising like yeah promising business venture you guys are getting such promising energy in terms of your career and things just working out and you getting this abundance flow coming in so absolutely so beautiful for you guys until number three um and yeah the last card that i have for you guys is the stone card and crystal card that i pulled for you guys that is a suggestion from spirit to work with during this time so it's or like 23 the stone actually is a little bit expensive though so don't like i definitely really suggest you looking up the stone and seeing if it's calling to you if you enjoy the metaphysical benefits of or like 23 because this is a little bit of an expensive bugger even for a tiny little piece it's pretty expensive so yeah that is the cards that i have for you guys in pile number one i really hope this reading did give you a sense of clarity and sense of direction if it did let me know in the comments below which card resonated with you the most and the dynamic of it and how it resonated with you i would love to hear about it because i'm nosy but yeah i really hope this reading resonated with you guys and just i don't know was helpful that's the whole purpose of these videos right but if it was helpful to you guys please let me know in the comments again uh, but also give me a like and subscribe because it does help me out so much but until next time you guys bye all right people in pile number four you guys chose the angel of song so i feel like this is actually gonna explain quite a bit for our cards in this reading as well so as i'm laying out all these cards because this is a thick one for you for us here let's just okay all right this is starting to make some sense now Nine of earth page of earth all right good stuff for career for you guys whoever came in here asking about career definitely some good stuff so should i just continue on with career since i talked about it right so knight of earth i want to get into that first this card well actually no my bad we'll start with page of earth page of earth is good news about financial matters wanting to do something more challenging a new area of study so maybe definitely well not even maybe definitely if you guys are thinking about shifting jobs changing jobs this is a good time for it this is the time to go into like a new business or taking a chance on a business venture as well um but if you do take this you know i feel like for a lot of people when it comes to career if you're going, whatever chance that you take, you have to fully commit to it, you guys. I'm feeling like the only way for this is to be successful is to fully committing to it because you are good enough. You are good enough. Full Moon in Virgo, Virgo is saying that you are completely, it's completely possible for you to do this, for you to like go into like this new area of study. Um, but with the Knight of Earth, the Knight of Earth talks about wanting you to buckle down and get things done honor your commitments and to connect with your guardian angel y'all some of you guys have not been connecting to your guardian angels to your spirit guides to your ancestors and this is a card calling you out on that 
But yeah, absolutely. If you're going to take a risk, you need to commit to that risk and really go forward with it. And really, I mean, I mean, I'm y'all, I'm not gonna sugarcoat things. When you have this card, you are good enough. This is trying spirit trying to take away the excuse that you could tell yourself of being like oh it didn't work out because of x y and z reasons like no you're good enough so if you didn't if it didn't work out it's because you didn't buckle down and commit to it <laughs> just to be like spirits just being very blunt in that regard um and also yeah with the cheetah card as well getting clear on your intention and staying focused move quickly to achieve your goal so goal very goal or oriented for you guys in pile number four figure out your goal and then just go straight for it, go straight for it, right? We have the ace of air, brilliant new ideas and inspiration, seeing the truth of a situation and a challenging new beginning. So a challenging new beginning with a new area of study. Like, yeah, this is going to be, you're going to be uncomfortable for a while, but if you maintain the cheetah aspect energy where you're just hyper-focused on your goal and you go full speed ahead, you commit to it, right you commit to it you connect to your ancestors you connect to your guides who are actively trying to help you along in this path they will be able to help you get to where you need to go because we do have the full moon in aries the fiery climax approaches so it's like i definitely feel like once it starts you need to really like it's going to happen and also i keep on i'm going through these cards so fast because i feel like they're all so relevant for each part but with the full moon as well, just straight up full moon surrendering to the divine, I want to point out again for, and again, this is, I feel like, pertaining to all people in pile number four, guardian angels surrendering to the divine. You guys really need to, like, I feel like a heavy part of your guys' success is going to be linked to your relationship and your relationship and what it looks like with your spirit guide, what it looks like with your ancestors and, you know, communication is key, new moon and Gemini. I feel like you guys need, like, the better communication that you have, the more uh, like just the more fruitful your connection will be with them the more fruitful like things will just play out for you guys absolutely um as well like i'm getting in terms of like socially for you guys um we have the vor <coughs> <coughs> hello yeah i feel like with the void of course moon saying nothing will come of the situation i really truly feel like for you guys in pal number four for some of you guys this is going to be referring to a very particular few and i feel like when you see this card you guys in pile number four you'll like i'm not gonna try to like figure out what it could pertain to i feel like once you see this card and like you see it it's gonna hit different for you and you know it's going to be meant for you in your situation whatever your question is so i'm just gonna hold it up maybe you'll connect with the energy of it if it is for you then you'll know and then hopefully it was what you wanted to hear and then Going into your one of you guys' final cards, we have the Ace of Water, falling in love, or the resurgence of the relationship, spiritual growth, enhanced intuition, and a new home. Uh, this is definitely, I feel like uh, you guys are, there's like an old flame coming back. I feel like an old flame coming back, or if you're wondering about someone in your life, maybe you've gotten into a fight with them recently, or maybe you're wondering if they like you or not. I feel like this card right here is letting you know that there's definitely some, something's going to be happening soon. Uh, where your re relationship is rekindled and when i say relationship i mean friendship romantic all that good stuff i feel like absolutely i'm getting something like you guys know who this person is absolutely um as well as if you guys are in a fight with somebody as well i want to bring up the new moon in gemini again communication is key Be paired with the um ace of water because i feel like some of you guys's relationships are only going to research through good communication absolutely so and for you guys this last card in pile number four is the appetite card and appetite is the stone that i pulled for you guys that spirit is suggesting for you guys to work with during this time if you do still feel called to working with the stone i would definitely suggest you guys looking up the metaphysical benefits to see if it is meant for you but absolutely guys i really hope this reading did bring you guys some resonance absolutely very straightforward reading very to the point and like covering all of its bases. I really hope that this did give you guys a sense of clarity, a sense of direction, and really was helpful to you guys. If it was, let me know in the comments below which card resonated with you most and how it resonated with you. I would love to hear about it. And also, if it did resonate with you, please give me a like and subscribe because it does help me out so much. But until next time, you guys, thank you so much.